In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to manually add time tracking in Hubstaff. This is a great way to ensure that all your work hours are accurately recorded, especially in scenarios where you forget to start the timer or need to log time after the fact. Let's dive right in and walk through it step by step. First, to get started, you'll want to head over to the Hubstaff website. You can do this by opening up your preferred web browser and navigating to hubstaff.com. Once you're there, you'll notice a sign in button, usually located in the top right corner of the home page. Go ahead and click on that. You'll be taken to the login page. Here, you'll need to enter your work email and password that you use for Hubstaff. Then, just click on the sign in button to access your account. Once you're logged in, you'll want to look for the Timesheets option in the navigation menu. This might be located on the left side of your screen, or it could be in a drop down menu, depending on your account settings. Click on Timesheets to proceed to the section where you can manage your time entries. In the Timesheet section, you'll see an Add Time button. This is where you'll manually input your time. Click Add Time to open up the new time entry form. Here, you'll need to select the project you were working on. You'll see a list of projects you're involved in, so just choose the appropriate one. Next, you'll find the option to select a to-do. A to-do might include specific tasks linked to the project you're registering time for, so pick the one that corresponds to the work you did. Then move on to the time span section. This is where you input the exact date and times you started and ended your work. Be precise here to ensure accuracy in your time logs. After setting your time span, you'll need to choose a reason for adding this time entry. Hubstaff allows you to pick from several predefined reasons, like forgot to track time or manual entry for meeting. Selecting a reason helps keep your records clear and provides context for any manual entries. Once you've filled in all these details, the final step is to save your entry. Click on the Save button and your manual entry will be submitted for approval. Depending on your organization's settings, this time edition might require admin approval before it officially appears in the timesheet. And there you have it. That's how you manually add time in Hubstaff. This simple process ensures that all your work time is accounted for, maintaining accurate and complete records. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.